It was an early morning, and Bishop Albert was getting ready for his long journey ahead. <laughs> Come on. I was just trying to improvise here, but apparently it didn't work out. So, in the previous episode... <laughs> hey, guys. In the previous episode, we were at Charas. And uh, I think we finished the mission, right? And we don't have any quests right now. Uh, there are quite a few tips that I uh, got to know by watching uh, one YouTube video from not not a very popular YouTuber. Uh, I don't remember his name, but basically they were really nice uh, tips and tricks. For example, when you are uh, training a party, it's better to leave them all in the previous level, let's say in the re uh, recruit level, in order to upgrade them all together. Because... They all receive the experience. The more units you have, the faster they level up. So this is something to just uh, remember. Oh, and we can start this series with... Um, start the third episode with another tournament fight. And it's another melee fight in Charis. But in here in Vlandia... Leather scale armor. Cool. But I, I don't think it's better than what I have right now. Uh... Oh, nice start. In Vlandia, it's very popular to have crossbows, and we can see here there's a crossbowman using a crossbow. First fight done. A rather good fight. Now we're fighting against uh, quite strong opponents. Well armored. There's only one. The Vlandia Militia Spearman is not armored as well as as good as it could be ouch 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 do not kill my horse please i beg of you down you go mr wongard nice <laughs> It's, it's a good thing that in my team there's like two guys that are not very armored. For example, like here, the Vlandian recruit is going to fight the Vlandian light cavalry. And I'm going to, going to fight the mercenary guard. And it's, it's, it's good. Why? Because they're not that uh, well armored. Here, I, I place my bets on the light cavalry. I bet, yep, it's going to win. And here, me against the cavalry guard. I'd say I'd win, but you never know, you know, with these uh, holes. What a nice shot to the head. <laughs> Deals with all the problems. So if you guys got, got a problem, take a pole and uh, <laughs> you know what to do. Yes, sehr gut. This was an easy tournament. This was an epic easy tournament and we got a new armor. Now let's check it out. It, it, it is actually better than the than the previous one that we had already. I'm strongly doubting that though. Where is it? Wait. Oh, there it is. No, it's it's not that good. But I guess I can leave it so it looks nicer. Like this dragon scale. It looks like dragon scale. It's really cool. Let's leave this here and trade all the unnecessary things that we have taken from uh, the looters. Yes, arm wraps. Okay, and... Ooh, wrapped shoes. Good. Let's leave these shoes together with this armor. So if there's anyone who stumped their horse... Maybe I should buy a better horse. It's a lot better horse just for like 59 bucks. Saddle horse. Is that a Sumter horse? Yeah, it's a Sumter horse. Hmm, riding 10. Charge damage 12, speed 48, maneuver 55. This is a lot, lot better saddle horse, desert horse. Ooh, desert, desert horse is even, I think, even better. Okay, the charge damage is lower. It weights less. I don't really know. I guess <laughs> it's just a horse. It's not a war horse. Bar horse, but uh, 
Either I pay 83 or either I pay... Guess I'm gonna take the desert horse. We're we gonna leave the Sumter horse. Okay, good. We have 4,000 yet. Like, still. But, uh... Guess we won't buy anything else. Ooh. That's nice armor. Cost 4,000, though. Armor for the horse! Uh... It doesn't seem that there's any... It doesn't seem that there's any quests here in this city, but uh, let's just see if, uh... There's any goods that we could trade? Butter 1837. Oh wow! Can sell at Amitadis for 100. Damn, the wine, the wine is expensive. Then it seems like it's one of the cheapest prices here. We could buy the wine. Okay, uh, oil is not that good in Amitatis. Anything else that we could sell there? 59, meat, lagat Amitatis for 30. Fish for 22. Wait, but isn't like Amitatis a long, long way? Where is it? Amitatis, Amitatis, where is it? Don't say it's like in the other end of the world. Wait. Ami, no Ami, Tatis, here it is. Let's track that. Oh no, oh no, and I bought wine for that? No, 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 we're not going that far. Let's just go to the nearest village and see if there's any quest for us. Family for, no, I'm not gonna do that. Buy products, maybe I can sell wine here nope but you know what the reason why we were here is that we wanted to do we do we want to do we wanted to pledge our loyalty to vlandia so we would be uh official members of vlandian uh what is it? The Vlandian Lordship? Surrender or die, brigand! Move! Bowman, move out! Bowman! Bowman. Onward! Hmm. I need to move those crossbowmen also, so, so they are in the archer party. Otherwise they have crossbows and they are at the uh, heavy infantry. And also these guys with the spikes as well. Seems like with a with a faster horse, <laughs> we're just not getting there. I will stab my own my own men there. Job well done, guys. Well done. They will tell tales about us. Just wait and see. Let's take them as the prisoners. Take their pitchforks. Let's enter Sargot. Maybe we can sell that wine here. Albert gained two points, two skill points in steward. Huh. It could be because I had like all kind of food here. I had wine, I had butter, I had beer, fish, grain. And when there's like uh, different kinds of foods uh, and your army is well fed, then it increases their morale. Uh, yeah, like food var variety plus two. And it also increases my stewardship. Let's go to tavern. Ekatia long knife. Let's visit the tavern. And speed to Lakadia. 
She's dancing. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's the dance for this kind of music. It's like, yo, yo, you know, <laughs> it seems like she's listening to R&B instead of, uh, instead of this nice, not guitar play, what is this? Some kind of uh, string instrument. Okay, let's talk to uh, Ekadria. Tell me your name. Forgive me if I have not met you before. Do not remember the occasion, for I have seen many warriors come to this land and pass swiftly into shallow graves. My name is Albert, madame. Tell me about yourself. Pour yourself a drink, stranger. I'll tell you all you need to know. How would I put it? I guess I'd say I'm a lady who's gotten a reputation for doing a man's work better than the men. But I guess I'm a bit of a rarity. Although, that's a bit of a surprise to me. You won't find me passed out in the straw in my own vomit when needed for a task. You won't have to bribe the guard to get me out of a cell because I got on a fight my way to work. Instead, for my fee, I'll make sure that those who need protecting are protected and those who need to die are dead. She feels uh, like a very strong woman, but she looks uh, really... What, what is the proper name for this? Really... Uh, uh, come on, think, think, think. Not insecure. She looks fragile. But she could be uh, strong in the inside. Yes, yeah, so hard to find dependable fighter fighters these days. Anyway, you come across a chief who needs a reliable sword in his warband. Let me know. Okay, tell me. Tell me a bit more about yourself. Show me. What do you have? Uh, writing. You're actually not that good. And you're devious as well. And you're 49 years old. I'm sorry, I must leave now. <laughs> she doesn't look 40, 49 though. She looks uh, very well preserved. For a 49 year old. Hello, sir. Good day, sir. Do you know anyone who might have a task for me? Nobody's looking for help right now. A few rumors about markets and caravans? I don't know nothing about it. Oh, seriously, what what kind of tavern keeper are you? On our way we go. Let's first check the wine price here. Still 48. Sell the pitchforks. All the unnecessary armor and and the arm wraps as well. Hmm. Oh, there's. Dirt hurt. Another noble one that we can uh, that we can talk to. My name is Albert, sir. May I ask your name? I am Dirt hurt, king of Landians. I am lord of Sargat and Galant. Oh, he's a king, so we can offer our allegiance to him. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrick? It was a victory, of the kind that almost is as bad as defeat. We had given an oath to the Empire to join them if attacked. It seemed clear to me that we should have honored our oath, that the Batanians and Sturgeons were aggressors. But there is always room to argue details. Ultimately, our barons did not wish to fight with the Empire, so they resisted coming to its help. Nerit says when he heard we were hesitating, sent us a message calling us cowards and traitors. And you say that to a Vlandian noble at your peril. Neritzer should have known what he was doing. We joined the Sturgeons. So they were together with Sturgeons and fought Neritzer, the Emperor. I did not fight in the battle. I stood on a hill telling my commanders where to go and who to attack. Very brave of you, Dirt Hurt. So maybe one day we're going to meet on the battlefield. After some time, when I have been loyal to you, quite possibly, we could, we could meet in the battlefield. And we did rather well. I think you've heard. Still, we took losses, heavy losses, and gained a little. And for this, the barons blamed me. Even though it was their idea to fight. I learned that the day that the, a king should always lead, never follow. But it was a bitter lesson. Thank you. Uh, there is something I'd like to discuss. 
I would like to propose an alliance between our families from marriage. No, I have a proposal that may benefit us so I would like to enter your service. And how would you serve us? What? My clan tier is not even one? Okay, I must leave now. Damn! We found the king, but I guess I can only start working for someone when I have to done this thing. Rebuild our clan. I need 50 renown and I also need a companion hired. Oh, let's go to Jakulan. Go to Arena. Nope, there's nothing in Arena. Recruit some troops. Not really. Hmm. No, the wine is still cheap here. And in Tavern, we have Dengil the Iron Belly. Why is he called the Iron Belly? Do you have an Iron Belly? My name is Albert, sir. One moment, I need a drink. Oh no, a dude has drinking problems. I am Batanian, but for 20 years I fought for the Empire, indeed. Most Batanians my age learned a trade in the legions. Okay. Every time I fought with a, with a band of my countrymen, I've told them, Hold your lines, stay firm, fight as the Empire does. A solid hammer, not a gaggle of goats. And every time I have seen them disintegrate into a screaming rush as soon as the arrows start flying. To dash themselves on the enemy's shields or be cut down by cavalry coming in on the sides. Indeed, there's much to be learned from the foreigner. Anyway, well, I've had it with narrow escapes from charging cataphracts, and I'm going to seek work in a more professional force. You have your lucky day. Ooh! Well, this companion is a lot better. Look at the stats. They're as twice as high as uh, our... Uh, what, what was it? Iron Kelly? No, this is Iron Belly. That wasn't Iron Kelly. Well, either way, this this dude, Derngill, is a lot better. I wonder how much does he want. 14,000! <laughs> You're joking, right? 14,000 for a companion? Who do you think you are? Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> Seriously? 14,000 for a companion? I would never pay that price. A thousand? Yes, why not? 14,000? That's just a tad too much. Maybe some quest in the village. Family food. It again. Hmm. I don't really want to do that. I don't like that quest. I played that quest before on the on my previous playthrough, and there's basically a family who has a problem because, like, the father's son has killed someone from another family. Army of poachers. We could attack the army of poachers, though. Saluk the fish. Okay, Saluk the fish. You don't look like a man who wants 14,000 to be employed. Ah, I don't think I know you. Yes, my name is Albert, sir. I was a farmer, but I split a man's head open with a hoe. Oh, you're a dangerous man, Saluk. He was also a farmer. Ah, no, you're not that dangerous anymore. It was a dispute over a broken fence between my pasture and his. I had no intention of killing him. His cousins came for me to take the, me to judgment. I would have gone willingly. I would have paid blood money. Gladly, but one of them laid hands on me, and a black rage came over me, and I killed two of them too. I didn't want to kill them either. Savage, Saluk, you're the, you're the savage. That was that. I could pay my blood money for a man, not but not free. I fled. I cannot return. Sounds like you had no choice, dude. If the choice had been mine, I would have never hurt anyone. I would live on my land, eat what I had grown, marry and have children. But the heavens have decreed that I should eat by shedding other men's blood. In the city, rich men pay me for well for that as well. Wow, so look. You're really the man. Your skills are not that great though. But okay. 
for the quest's sake. Two thousand. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? Like seriously, two thousand for you? I won't pay that. No. No, no, no. I'm not paying that. Jesus, two thousand. Let's take the quest with the army of poachers. At least we're gonna earn some money there. Damn these. These greedy people. I don't know you. I suppose you should tell me your name. My name is Albert, sir. I'm Helmond, a merchant here in Galland. I own brewery, brewery here. I know your name. I hear you recently caught some bandits speaking as a merchant. We appreciate any efforts to make the road safer. Okay, I heard you may need uh, help with your problem. I'm in real trouble with poachers. A few years ago, I invested in, invested in them to hunt for me in the royal grounds. I paid all the hush money to local authorities and even nobles to give them free passage. And then we all made a fortune after while poachers built an army of their own with their earnings and muscled me out of the leather business. What can I do for you? I want you to crush them. Go to Furbeck and kill them all. Okay. No problem. Let's just wait for daytime. Do not like fighting during night. Furbeck, there it is. Let's wait here for some time. There's dirt hurt again. Ooh, looters. No, don't run away, come on. Surrender or die. Let's fight looter looters first and then... What is, what is this? I'm sorry, I'm in first person. <laughs> okay, that was a nice bug. Footman, forward! Footman. Get moving! Arrows! Yeah, another uh, tip that I learned Move is that out. you can uh, drag out the formations. Who's this? Imperial Equ... How did I get you? Uh, hey, Archer. <laughs> hey, dude, you're not looking to the... Forward. What are you doing? Two down. No rock throwing. Up there. Okay, they can deal with the rest. How did I get the Imperial Liquid? Could I recruit him like him myself? Yes, we did show them. To renown. Great. Yeah, you see? So they're uh, like, they keep on, they keep on uh, getting better. Mercenary swordsmen. Uh, yes. So when we're going to recruit some new uh, rec recruits, I'm not going to up them until all of them are, uh, all of them have been, uh, have been leveled up. Wait, and how do I? Quest. A merchant gallant told you the poachers be hired before are now out of control. He asked you to go to Furbeck around midnight and kill the poachers. Midnight. Fine. Let's wait here for some time. What? Oh wait, I needed to enter the village during the midnight, didn't I? Okay, let's wait, <laughs> let's wait for the night. And right now, engage the poachers. Thirteen of them. Okay. Onwards, move. Footman, hear me! Onward! Archers! Move out! Are they like really archers or... They're not engaging, are they? 
No, they are moving. They are getting closer. Don't really see anyone. Fall infantry! Shields forward! Wait a minute. Do they have archers? Oh, but those are archers. No, oh, they have archers. Yep, they definitely have archers. This is going to hurt. some units save us there's nobody going to save you another swift victory well done well done my infantrymen yes victory is definitely ours we got five poachers there's as prisoners. You now what? Let's take them as prisoners and just wait for. Uh, and I can upgrade all six of them. Great. There's only one imperial archer upgraded now. Okay. Longbow. What if? I start using the bow like this and I lose the sword something like that it's increased by Helmand the Brewer great let's recruit some units here and there's none here because uh, I think the king entered the village right when we were waiting and nothing to recruit here as well. Oh well. Okay, so how much renown do we have right now? We got clan tier zero. We got um, parties, no other. Where do I see my renown? Can I see it only in the quest? Royal party to 20 men. Reach clan tier one. Renown. Oh, I need two renown left. And also, I need to hire a companion. So about the quest, I didn't get anything. Okay. There was no money reward. There's a tournament though. Where's the letter? You can sell Tamatatis for 225. I could go there and just leave the letter here. Like leave it with me. Oh, sh no, wait, where's the letter? Uh, but I guess I'm gonna keep it with me and gonna sell it elsewhere when the right time comes. Okay. 666. Good. I think we're done here. Now let's recruit a new recruit and go to arena. Let's join the arena fight and show them who's boss. And we could get a nice ho horse with uh, 60 riding skill. And it's a war horse. That's good. That's good. Blended insurgent, burial equid, looter. Okay. I'd say that... Ah, if not for... If not for me, oh, Jesus, come on. If not for me, uh, having half hit points should be very easy. <laughs> if only I could connect with my shots. 
shooting a crossbow is not that easy, I tell you that. Oh, really? A tad too high? <laughs> He's gonna kill me now. This bland insurgent, I think it's tier 7 troop or something. This is gonna be, uh, oh no. And I'm at a crossbow, seriously. Oh, come on! Not really. I'm dead. Definitely dead now. Yep. <sighs> well, live to fight another day. We didn't get a horsey. But we could go to Provin now. And enter Ferton along the way. There's no quests here. Mm, nothing too expensive that I can sell here as well. What about Ruland? Family food. Okay, okay, let's do this quest. Let's do this quest. My name's Albert, sir. I am Albert. Oh, you're almost like Albert, but with an M. I own land around here. I speak many of the people here for the village. Yes, yes, Palisona, man from Palisona. We have offered paid blood money. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds pretty serious. Okay, okay, I'm gonna protect your relative and hopefully I won't fail. <laughs> this quest is a little bit tedious and I'm gonna and it's kinda easy to explain why when you're there in the village you don't have your armor on you speaking of armor let's kill those looters uh, you don't have your armor on you you have only this uh, what is it the nobleman's dress but no armor And that's Watch the worst out. part about it. Get moving. Okay, have I lost my crossbowman? Doesn't seem that there's anyone with a crossbow anymore. So, is anyone going to hit a looter? Doesn't seem so. Oh my god, those shots are so random. Guys, please! Well, infantry did a lot better job. With their javelins. Come on! No! Oh. Down you go! <laughs> yes and we got five but we need 11 guys to level up poacher could recruit a poacher and now I can have 48 <gasps> did we get our renown but we don't have a companion yet how, how can I have what wait I didn't get it, party. I have 48 slots now. Why is that? Clan tier 1. We actually got it. But we did not finish this quest. We still have to hire a companion. Okay, that's uh, that's nice uh, turn of events. So let's do it. Let's get ourselves uh, plenty of recruits from Palisona before we go in the... Speak with a man one on one. Wait, how much time do I have for the quest? Four days. And he will pay you 500 once the boy is safe. Malbert of Roland. Malbert of Roland. What? You have agreed to talk to Ambard in Roland. 
Wait, I'm not in the correct city. Where's Ruland? Correct village, I mean. Where's Ruland? Oh, there it is. Recruit some troops. And let's wait here for some time. In order to heal. 60%, 64%. West failed. What? But it showed me four days still. <sighs> oh well. It's not that I needed that quest that much anyway. Off to Praven we go. One recruit, thank you. Tavern district. Simmer the coal biter. He bites coal. Hi, I don't think I know you. Hello, sir. We Stoogians have tradition. If two people have a dispute and there's no witnesses, so it all comes down to one's man word against another's. Then we let them settle it with swords. If one man doesn't like to fight, he can hire someone else to do the fighting. That's how it works with us. Probably other people do the same, because it's a good tradition. I like to fight, so I made it known that I'd fight for anyone if the price is right. She shed a little blood, make a little coin, drink it away, make a little more, all in the cause of justice. Not a bad life, eh? Well, I guess I showed myself a bit too eager. The council stopped accepting me as a champion, told me I sold my sword too cheaply, they said. What can I say? I have to look for other work now. Okay. Well, you got nice skills, but if you're gonna ask for 15,000, I'm gonna... 2,000! For those skills, for these kind of skills that he has, like, okay, 100 riding, athletics, uh, 150, one-handed, two-handed, 200, polearm, 140, bows, he's a really good all-around fighter. Also, he's generous, he's daring, and, well, he's cruel, but I guess we can deal with that. Simmer, you are at our disposal now. And we officially finished the quest. Bishop Albert has gained his first follower. His first knight. And uh, let's just uh, dress him up properly. You can't look like that in my party. You have to look representable. Wait. Some shoes. These are better. I don't have help. Where's where's my helmet? Wait, did I sell the helmet? Okay, this looks more representable. <laughs> Tapered northern blade handling. Okay, hatchet. We need to get him a shield and a horse. And a harness for a horse. So, what do we have here? Stumper horse. Wow, those are expensive. Uh, saddle, saddle, camel, saddle. Step harness. 200 for that. I guess there's no other way. 200 it is. You're an expensive guy, you know that, Simmer? There we go. Can we also buy him a shield? Worn kite shield, studded round kite shield. 126, okay. Can deal with that. That's better. And the last touch. Don't tell me you don't have any pikes here in this city. What is this? A farm or a city? Jeez. Seriously, they don't have any. Okay. Sell these, sell these, sell these. And we got 3,500 bucks. And now, I guess the good, it would be 
the best time to talk to that hurt. Where are you? Next to Rodotan. Okay, what's well, right there? Our mission is to get to Rodotan. And it's down south. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find a king. And we gain the level. That's always good. Let's get some more recruits. Get our army larger. So we can start doing some damage. Okay, Rodotan. So what's our plan? The plan is rather simple. I got seven focus points and I haven't spent them. And I also got two attribute points. Wow. Well done. Tactics, scouting, leadership. Assemble and lead armies. How to learn leadership. Okay, charm, tactics. Command simulated battles. Win battles at difficult odds. Escape the encounters by sacrificing troops if necessary. Okay, trade. Make profit from trading, operating, operate caravans. Steward. Gain party morale from food variety. Improve settlement prosperity. This will come in handy later. But I guess we could add, so we could just uh, gain a little bit more points here. Leadership. Leadership is all right. Don't need roguery. Athletics. Athletics. What about athletics? Guess we could add something to athletics as well. What I'm looking here for is that we have a place to grow for the skill. We can add something to pole arms. And I guess, I guess, what do we do? Scouting. Plus 2% party movement speed at night, during the day, by 1%. Party movement speed is uh, nice to have. Spot tracks and hideouts travel through difficult ter terrain. Okay. Bow, one-handed. Okay, let's add focus point to one-handed as well. We added one to stewardship. Charm. 20% more renown from battles. 20% chance to avoid persuasion, critical failure. 10% better chance for double persuasion success. What are we gonna do trade? You pay 20% less wage for caravans. Also, your party can carry 30% more weight. Hmm. Your caravans gather trade rumors. Also, mark item prices relative to average price. Ships gather trade rumors. Also, mark them. Cool. Trilliger party entering your town generates 10 gold income. Hmm. I still have one point left. Smitting. Athletics. Riding. Ride on the map with as much speed as possible. Fight on horseback, gaining speed bonus. What's the limit now? 50. And I still have two skill points left to... Place. Represents ability to move with speed and force. It's important for melee combat. The skills that are bound to vigor are attribute. Increasing vigor makes it easier to. Hmm. We're gonna raise our intellect by one point. And we are going to increase our uh, cunning by one point. Or writing. No, it's endurance. Control. Damn, these choices are really difficult. Or well, let's add to social and let our let our uh, leadership and charm and trade skills uh, grow. So, last focus point. Smitting, throwing. 
bow. Okay, bow it is. Because now we have equipped a bow. So that's going to come in handy. Uh, by the way, weren't there any skills that I could learn? Nope, doesn't seem so. Whew, okay. So I wonder where is the Seekers party? Only five people. Damn. Where's the king now? Dirt hurt. Where are you? In Dern. Oh no, don't say you're fighting. There you are. There he is. Oh, they are actually fighting. I'm here to deliver you my demands. <gasps> I got an idea. <laughs> I guess they're in war with, uh, what is it, the uh, Northern Empire or something? There's something I'd like to discuss. Okay, let's check you out. Who are you fighting with? Western Empire. Who are your enemies? Wars. Vlandia. Vlandians declared war on the Western Empire. Look at what we're gonna do. I'm here to deliver you my demands. I offer you a chance to surrender or die. Are you mad? I'm not your enemy. I repeat. Yield. Or fight. So we fight then. And they have only five units. And then we go to the king. And we have a, like, a super plan. We give the king the, the head of Sickard and he's gonna be just... Uh, He's gonna just be uh, the happiest man in the in the whole uh, whole kingdom. Wait, what? Oh, what circle? Not circle. Are they actually charging me? No, they're not. Wait. Where's my bow? Bowmen! Move! Infantry! Ugh. Forward! Shields up! Arrows! What do you think you're doing, huh? Why can't they take my bow? Got a nice horse there, Sigurd. Don't run away, please. There you go. Oh, not Sigurd. Sigurd. But amazing plan, isn't it, guys? It's just an amazing plan. Hey, hey, hey you hit my horse. Yes, we win! Uh, 30 against 5! Well done, guys! Well done! Yes! Hooray, hooray! We did it! There's none better than us. We actually lost one. Oh, a recruit. Yeah, whatever. You are my prisoner now. And here's the interesting part. Do we... Do we? What do we do with the prisoners? Do we execute them or do we actually like leave them be and uh, yeah, just, I don't know, release or ask money for them and whatnot. Ooh, seems like I'm enemy now with Rafard as well. Can I manage to catch him? Come on, 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 oh, almost there. Come on. Come on. Come on already. My, what's wrong with my movement speed? Oh, there we are. <laughs> you know we are at war. Surrender or die. How are we at war? Okay, I, I, I attacked one of those guys. And now I'm like... 
at war, like my clan is at, at war with all the... You can just charge, guys. With all the... What are you doing here? Down you go. And where do you think you're running? Uh, so we're at war with Western. <laughs> Apparently, we're at war with uh, Western. Uh, what is it called? The Western Western Empire, Western Kingdom, whatever. War champion, war no wise. He's ready to join us. I'm not really sure I want, but I have Sigurd and I have Rafard. Uh yeah, we gained two prisoners, and what we are gonna do with them? And where's the king? I guess he's down there. So, the question to you guys from me is... Uh, leave down in the comment section down below. What do you think? Should we execute the prisoners? Like, if we get the lords, should we execute them? And thus make more enemies? But, uh, kind of make these kingdoms a lot weaker, just because... If we fight with them, we take them as prisoners and we slay them, then uh, what happens is that uh, there's going to be less armies on the on the map, right? So the question is, do we execute the prisoners or do we leave them uh, leave them uh, leave them alive? If we leave them alive, we can ransom there, uh, ransom them. If you go to not arena but tavern, you can see I can get like 2,000 for uh, guys I have right now. And let's go to arena and join the fight. I don't have any questions. Sign me up for the tournament. I'm ready. Let's join. Oh, not the axes. Oh my god. Savages. Oh, X to the head. Down you go. <laughs> Was that Simmer? Oh, now two handed swords. Okay. I'm so. Some Northerners. Serious Northerners. Oh no! Whew. 80 damage. Oh no. And there's two of them left. Okay. We whip the bastards! Oh, but I move forward. That's good. So axe against an axe. <laughs> I'm a bit faster, Batanian horseman. I'm sorry. And now I'm fighting against Sia Ramos for some wolf shoulders. It's not that I want them, but okay, I guess I'm. Uh... Oh! That was a bad swing! <laughs> and he blocked me, and he ended my life. Oh well. Sierramos, I'll see you in the next battle. Well then, where's the king? Looters, please hold your ground. Hold your horses. Wait, did I see that a prisoner escaped from my party? If that's the case, I'm going to start slaying them straight away. Ouch. 
Wait, why can't I use my bow? I still don't get it. Or is it that I just don't know how to shoot my bow on a horseback? Oh, come on. This is getting pathetic. Some looters are punishing me. Sigurden Rafar. Nope, they're still there. Good. Amitatis. <laughs> Amitatis is uh, my enemy now. The whole kingdom is my enemy. For Let's look at them. Uh, books go away then. Jesus! <sighs> That's not my clan name! What do you mean? Books go away then! Can I, can I change the name? I can customize the symbol, but can I change the name? Oh no. Okay. Let's see, where's the... Where's the dirt hurt? Ab Omer Castle. Where's that? Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are, chasing looters with 200 people. That's very efficient. Ah, but it's been a while. So what is it? There's something I'd like to discuss. I would like to enter your service. My sword is yours for the right sum. You want some mercenary work, eh? We will glad to take fighters whether they seek glory or gold. If you fight for us, you will receive 80 gold whenever you defeat a party of enemies or for any other significant deed. 80 gold? That seems a bit... a bit... underwhelming. But okay. But I can accept that. Good, I'll have my men write up a simple contract on behalf of Kingdom of Landia. I welcome you. May you put your sword to good use against our enemies. You can count on me as now your enemies are my enemies and your honor is my honor. Very official. Uh, I have a question. How can I... I want to join your army. Very well, follow us. There is something I'd like to discuss. It doesn't seem that I can give those prisoners to him. You know what, guys? I guess this is it. We're gonna end the episode on this point. We have joined the King's Deadhead's army, the King of Landia. He still has no clue of our true, uh, true intentions. We want to build our own kingdom. We want to build Livonia. We want to make Livonia strong and make Livonia great again. <laughs> We're going to make the Livonian, not confederation, not, uh, not, uh, not Livonian kingdom, but we're going to make the Livonian order. And the main, main people there will be the Livonian brothers of the sword. But for this to happen, we need to find out how can we change our clan name. Because I don't like the clan name that is named Buxho of Eden. It should be freaking Livonian Brothers of the Sword already. <laughs> well, but yeah, let's leave that for the fourth episode in this series. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. And as always, guys, please leave a comment down below. Press that like button and press that subscribe button if you like to see more. Joy Plays Games says goodbye to you and see you in the next one.